over the summer, my mom gave me a haircut on her birthday, and we tidied up the place for to make it easier for her nurses to come in and help grandma out. That is why this background looks so much more neat than it used to three months ago. Without further ado, I want to tell you about interesting little known detail I overlooked before about the, the shared cast of the season 9 premiere of Bob's Burgers with Central Park. So for those who haven't seen it, then just one of the boys for now for now is about the Max Greenfield's character Boo Boo dropping out of his boy band Boys For Now and and uh, Tina bumps into Josh Gad's character Damon a, a boy who is delivering a bulk set of of surplus napkins to Bob's Burgers and uh, he runs off to audition to replace Tina wants to ask him out but then he runs off to audition for Boys For Now and Tina puts on a boy disguise so she can follow him there and ask him out on a date or something, I guess. But on her way to find Damon, she keeps seeing all these different boys who, like, every time that's funny how, yeah, every time that, every time they talk, every time another boy talks to her, she instantly imagines them singing another song for her. And, it happens five times throughout the episode. Even though... Even though their romance songs for Tina are imaginary and... They weren't really singing for Tina, they were really... They really... And they, they really wanted to sing for... The judges who would decide... Who, make, who would make the best replacement for Boo Boo and Voice For Now. Really appreciate the fact that that uh, Julia Ashton took the time to hire some real musical talent for this episode. For all the for all the boys who have you know the, have good singing voices, that would make them worthy of being the newest member of Voice for Now, as well as also having a good voice to use for when. Tina imagines their characters singing romance songs for her. And so the so the, the the five boy the five boys whom Tina imagines singing songs for her in line to, in line for the new boo to become the new boo boo are Josh Gad as Damon, David Herman as the gum boy. He's the only one who didn't didn't get a name because he had the least amount of screen time in the shortest song in the episode. Rory O'Malley as Chad, Davy Diggs as Jesse, and Andrew Miles as Hayden. Hayden is Damon's friend, but it's kind of funny how, how the Tina imagined them in a, rival, in a rivalry in space rap battling over her and then Josh Gad and Andrew Rannells had another big musical feud as a different pair of characters in the Central Park episode Rival Busker first no pants in space and now first class hands and, you know that's why I see that just one of the boys for now for now is a spiritual predecessor to Central Park because even though Josh Gad, uh, even because even though Josh Gad, Julie Ashton, I'm not sure if his name is Julia. Julia. Josh Gad, Julia Ashton Barron, Nora Smith, and Lauren Boucher could pick a lot of people Josh Gad already knew from Frozen or Hamilton. They don't mention that there are already loads of musical guests they knew who worked with them before in the Bob's Burgers season 9 premiere. 
Now, the gunboy wasn't mentioned in the end credits because David Herman already had two other characters to voice in the same episode, and when, like, when he voices different, when he voices multiple characters in the same episode of Bob's Burgers of the Great North, they only have time to mention one of them in the end. They only have enough room to mention one of them in the end credits because he he, he, he plays two secondary characters in both programs. He plays. Mr. Philip Fraun and Trevor in Bob's Burgers, and he plays Gil Beavers in Santiago Carpaccio in The Great North. So, he's not really a musical guest in just one of the boys for now, for now, like the other four, the, like the other four musical boys, like the other four musical boyfriends were. I'm just thinking to be the new Boo Boo. Because. He was the because he's still. He's part of the because uh, he's still part of the secondary cast of those burgers. But it is still kind of nice that they let him that they let him sing when they could only when they didn't have five mu when they didn't have access to five musical guests only four. Okay, so the reason why I'm talking, why I was talking about David Herman just now, is because I noticed that Dimitri and Bellhop are the only Central Park characters who, voiced by David Herman, who appear in, who, who appear with lines in two episodes. Unlike The Great North and Bob's Burgers, Central Park doesn't give David Herman a consistent character to voice like the other four musical guests from that episode had. Who sing a lot in who sing a lot in their episodes? Who sing who sing a lot to, over the course of the series? Um, there was a they have uh, Josh Gad as Birdie, Rory O'Malley as Elwood, Dobby Diggs as Helen, and Andrew Reynolds as Griffin, the rival busker. He's the, the the last one is the he's the Griffin. That last one is the only one who isn't part of the regular cast of Central Park because he was just there to he was just there to take over to take over Bertie's narrator job for two episodes and he was fired for spoiling important details about Bitsy to Paige Hunter. Okay, yeah, but back to David Herman. Even though he's probably technically part of the secondary cast of Central Park, like Rory O'Malley, he doesn't have a consistently appearing... He doesn't have any consistently appearing characters to voice who get a lot of singing parts over the course of the series. So, that's what got me wondering if David Herman ever actually voiced any Central Park characters who get a singing part because that would be a bummer if like he was the only person who got to sing in the season of Premier Burgers who didn't also get a chance to sing in Central Park um, but <sighs> but I think I actually did find somebody David Herman voices in the first episode who got to have a singing part he is this guy with thigh skates who looks like Mickey the bank robber but sounds more like Mr. Philip Frond. Roll clip. A perfect place to wear my no one really knows for sure who voiced that guy because you know there are a lot of characters who just have a line to sing in the opening song and it is unknown who actually voiced them but I am fairly confident that Mr. Thyskates over here is the same voice actor that plays Philip Frond because it plays Philip Frond and Trevor because I definitely heard a lot of Philip Frond in his voice when he sung that line. He's definitely an interesting fellow and 
I was happy to see him again with the other skaters, with with, with Glorious Gary and the other skate and their other fellow skaters at the end of Skater Circle and the season one finale. A fish called Snakehead. It's kind of cool. Bless the Hearts also had an episode about snakeheads the next year. You know that, uh, yeah, I think Mr. Thyskates is an interesting fellow. He looks like he could be, he looks like he could be Mickey's cousin. <laughs> that would be a fun crossover to see if <laughs> Mickey was on, if Mickey was on, was on spring break vacation or Christmas vacation or Thanksgiving vacation or summer vacation from New Jersey and Bob's Burgers to New York and Central Park and that's where he met his look-alike with the that's where he met his look-alike with the the thigh skates I'm doing a song I wrote about guys who work on a mountain all right now go get him <clears throat> mountain men I love mountain men mountain Harry mountain Tom and mountain Ben Anyways, that's all I got to say on the matter of David Herman singing in Central Park. Uh, and uh, unless David or somebody else working on Central Park can prove, unless they prove, unless they tell me or prove, or prove me or prove otherwise, if, unless they reveal something else that, unless they explicitly reveal something else that proves me wrong, I think. I think Mr. Thyskates, that's the nickname I said to give him. I think Mr. Thyskates is, I think, I'm fairly confident that Mr. Thyskates is David Herman's big brief singing part. 